Okay, so now here to show uh, uh, Azan uh, gameplay here on Training Rage, of course. So, yeah, so let's get, uh, get the ultimate immediately. This is what it is. Cool down. So, you can see the higher uh, bar over there on top of the abilities. That's the higher bar. So, uh, f first of all, let's test the range. So, that's medium, medium, heavy. Alright, let's test headshots first, too. There's no headshots. Alright. <clears throat> now we test the range. And you can see the here uh, bar. Alright. Alright. That's a good range. What about from over here? Probably it's in infinite range. Yup. So it looks like the range is infinite. Okay. So it's infinite, the, the range, not like some others that have a certain range that for you to shoot. Uh, in this one, you can shoot the range that it is, even the, it's medium, medium, medium uh, heavy, everyone has the same range. Alright. So Q, that is the, the wall. I'm gonna go over here. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. I forgot the right mouse button. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I th it said wind up, but that was fast as fuck. The hell? I'm gonna try it again. I won't see this better. Oh, you wind up is like you can hold the right mouse button. Ah. You can hold. Is that the wind up? Uh, what the fuck? I should spend. What's the difference? Like, okay, you can hold right mouse button, you know, like that. You can pinpoint where you want to put, but it's like, what's the difference? You and uh, do you saw the the image? What it is like? It's almost like it goes in the square, but then opens. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Now let's see here Q. And now we can use the F. I didn't even saw the, the damage. What the hell? Alright. I'm gonna try the S the F again. Well it's better to also here because there's these things and probably it's reading this. Wait, what? I'm gonna try to uh, augment. Gonna try to augment it. What? Wait, that's the range? What? What? Put collision when you use this. Put fucking collision. I'm gonna be honest. That looks like trash. I must buy something. I'm gonna be honest. You can't even see how much damage it is. It's too close. That's the problem of this. The, the time is almost the same, the time. What the hell is this? But the, the, the queue is not all around you. There is a passage, what it looks like. I want to see better. I'm gonna wait here, because I want to see... Yeah, that's a passage. It's only in this semi-circle, alright. But, like, I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was longer, like, if you, if you hit, like, a wall or it was uh, more range. It doesn't seem like any good, seriously. It's uh, the F looks like way, way too weak. It's like this one. This one looks too weak too. Very weird uh, how it is. All right, so let's see here the ultimate. So then you choose where you want to throw. All right. Like, and it look at how much higher you got with that. Holy shit. 
I understand that it's like the, the ability charge is supposed to be augmented with the air, right? But still, like it leads to it leaves too much. Like you, you really need to be too close to uh, to a fucking wall to use this to use the F, and then like this ability, the right mouse button looks a little bit like trash too. I like the hammer, the speed that you control the hammer. I like the speed. It's a, it's a, a faster one. But this one I still think it could be better. Be still. I think it still could be better. It, it's gonna be very, very hard. Like, okay, can you get close to the enemies? Yes, like you can use this and you get close. Like this can be like a way to enter or a way to escape. Like they say, oh, it's it's for you to uh, go against enemies to send them against the wall or something like that. Yeah, I understand that. But this can be like an, a way to enter or escape. You can use it like that. Like let's say you want to go and get close to the enemies. You you can like go around, right? Walking, go around and do F, and then you are close. Boom, 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 boom. And then put a wall or, or even try to protect, like try to uh, zone the enemy, like put the, him alone, the other ones can't even pass, like in a, a way that you can go one versus one or two versus one, you know, you can do like that. Or sometimes, you know, credits, I should you go either place, right, and uh, try to catch the enemies with your uh, E, you can do it like that, like I... Okay, you can reach very far away with the, with the armor. Like you can go like high ground, try to hide, right? And use the E and send and then uh, uh, catch them and you know, use immediately then the wall to again to try to uh, catch a damage or you know, zone the rest of the team from their uh, teammates and your teammates attack to the, those ones, you know, attack to the guy that you zone out. There's always that uh, that possibility, right? Because I don't know how much speed you can use to uh, to do that. I really want to see. What the fuck? Up? Oh, I press the E again. So you can cancel E. You press E again. There's too much cooldown. There's too much time for you to. Uh, I was pressing. Uh, Q, 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 and uh, it wasn't letting me to to be fast. You can't send the armor, go to the armor, and press Q immediately. It doesn't let you. It takes some time. But still, still, like, in a zone like this, right? You do the E, right? Boom, boom. And then he, if some enemies are like that, right? They are separated from this two. You put the wall, and they can't come. So you already zone those three from this two and the rest of your team. And you cannot uh, try to kill this guy immediately. Let's say this guy is... a uh, it's a damager, right? It's very far away from, very far from your teammate. He's already has good items and stuff like that. You can always like, boom, prevent him from attacking, and your teammate focus on him, kill this guy, and then these guys will be alone. So, like, I think the combo will be the E and Q to zone, the, to, like one guy from the rest of the team or two guys, you know, depend, or even like go one versus one with you. Because I think this guy in one versus one can defeat uh, a lot of characters because he has good shield, he has the, you have always, you know, you have these, send them up, you have, in case, okay, I don't know what they did, but, you know, again, send him against the wall to stun, you know, there's always some possible, some good combo, I, but I think the best combo is ulti, kill, and then try to face, if you want to stun them, you use your F, uh, the problem of this character is that the higher bar you want, because it will uh, help you, your character to augment the abilities, you know, to do some more uh, stuff, so that's uh, a thing that you're gonna have to be careful because you're gonna need to attack to increase your higher because your abilities take out a higher bar, they consume higher bar, but um, I think this, the F needs uh, more uh, range. You know, it needs more range to bring them to walls, and they could do a collision. Like, do they work? Does it work? That's the problem. Can you send one against the other? Did it work? No, it doesn't. So there was a, a weird collision over here. 
because they could do like that, right? Like a collision. If you do F and you send an enemy against the other, boom, both of them will take damage and both of them will get stunned. But I understand that it will be a little bit. I'm not gonna say OP because you are going to get exposed, right? But uh, I, nah, I think it will be way better to do that. Like send against the walls, stun damage against uh, send against your walls, the sanctuary walls, more damage and bigger uh, stun. And send an enemy against another enemy will be the same as sending against the wall. You know, you do damage and you stun them for normal time. I think they could add that. Like that will be a way you have more st more ways to stun enemies. You know, you could like send oh they are in a row. I'm going against one and bring against another one to stun them. I don't know why they didn't think about that. It's weird. Like they 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 thought of sending a guy to against the wall against the sanctuary walls, but they didn't thought about sending against another one. Like why not? Like, that's the power of this ability. I don't know how you reach to the abilities. Not this one. Like, that's the problem of F ability. It doesn't even say how much damage you do against walls and against your walls, against sanctuary walls. It doesn't say how much damage, how much time is this done. It doesn't say. It's like, did they forgot in the description? Probably they forgot. It could be that they forgot to put. If that is, okay, I understand, it's like, it's PTS, it's not live version yet, but still, like, they kill, they, in my opinion, like, okay, there's time to still put the ability of sending enemy against enemy with the F, add it, add it, there's no problem, it will only will make the champion even better with the F button, or the, the F ability, like, in my opinion, that will only make even better the champion. I think they could do it like many cha many uh, games after that that you send enemy against enemy and they will take the damage. Yeah, they could do it. I don't think why they didn't. I think they will, will make it even better. But like still, there's still time for them to do it. The problem is, can they do it? That's the problem because don't forget, it's Unreal Engine 3. It doesn't mean that, that in Unreal Engine you can't do that. You can. But the problem is that everything is done, the code and everything is already done so it's like for them to add that they need to add a little more code in there so that takes time but still there is time right it's like you are in PTS the patch only comes out on November 10th so you have time to do that to write that code to send an enemy against an enemy uh, so it will be nice to see that on this champion I think it will help him a lot the problem is did they thought on that idea? If they did, why did you reject that idea? Will it make a broken character? Will it break the game in certain certain thing? I wonder why they didn't. Like, I think they will thought on that, but probably something happened. Credits I should spend. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But overall, like, I think the best combo here is ultimate Q, separate the enemy team and then uh, kill the guy or the guys that you uh, separate from the rest of the team and then you can even stun enemies with the F you, the problem is that doesn't have a lot of range I think they could add more range on that this this build I still think is a little bit uh, trash compared to some others uh, the walls, it can be good these ones right like I said with the ultimate but at the same time you can prevent to take some damage yeah there is still some passage over here that you can attack but uh, yeah, the talents of him, uh, the, uh, I think the normal one, the the one that you already start with, it's the best one because you are, you take less five percent damage and you get you get forty percent of life steal. That's the best one. The other ones you have a lot of, you have positive and negative. So I think that's the best talent, the first one. It's it's like. The design of the character is good, the lore of him, for what I understood, is good, but then it's like, uh, the talents that they put, they only one is good, the rest of the other two, the negatives are way better than the positives, and uh, the abilities are a little bit lackluster, you comp immediately right mouse button, it's lackluster, I'm gonna be honest, compared to other characters that they have, it's lackluster, they could have done better, 
F bulletin, the F skill, like I said, needs more range, needs the enemy against enemy collision, it needs the description to say how much damage and how much it's the stun. Look, like the Q, I like the, the Q, D, I like the E. Like, I like that, but then the other two abilities are a little bit lackluster. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think they, this guy could have been even better than it is. But hey, we have to wait and see. They probably they can change some of the talents. Uh, the, the F skill, I really hope they change. Uh, I don't think this one, I don't know how I will change. Seriously, I don't know how it will change. I, I think this this ability needed to be like redesigned. Seriously, <laughs> I don't know how I could change this. But yeah, like the F the skill, like how it is, it's cool. Carrying enemies against walls and that stuff. Okay, that's cool. But make it for you to carry enemies against enemies too. That's a thing that you need to add to this ability. It's gonna make it even better. But the rest is like this one. Redesign this. Redesign real. It's so weird. Like why the hell is like a score? It it starts like to be a rectangle, but then it opens. It's like uh, and then it's like wind up. This is not wind up. You don't wind up. Like why you would you do this? I'm gonna wait here because you need to wait for a cooldown. Like you can press right mouse button and it does immediately. Why would you do this? Explain why would you do this? Yeah. I can aim, but why? If you are against the enemies, you're not gonna hold the fucking right mouse button. You want to do immediately this. You want to press immediate right mouse button. If it's the same type of damage, the same knockback, or not knockback, lifting, if, if it is the same uh, time, there's no point to hold right mouse button. I, I understand that they want probably for you to point, but dude, you have a crosshair. You already have the crosshair. You don't need to hold up. So. That part that they say wind up, it just remove, just remove. Uh, it's like, like I said, of this of Azan, character design great, A lo the lore for like I said for what I understood looks great, and but then the abilities they could be better, they could have have certain good ones like this one like I said, I don't understand who thought this one was good, the F port and it's. The one that already and uh, said, and then like D is I think for me it's the best one. I like how it is that you can do damage with the armor and with when you go to there, and then you can like combo with kill. It takes a while, but I understand that. And then the normal attacks I like that is medium, medium and heavy, and uh, the attack speed is uh, it's faster. So it's like, but yeah. What I will say, my feedback for this champion, F button, uh, F button, F the F skill, and uh, the right mouse button. Seriously, they, those two, the right mouse button, redesign, F skill, put champion against champion collision. Uh, but yeah, if you want to test the champion, you know, to give the feedback for the developers, you will need to have PTS download on Steam. Everyone can. It's not an uh, invitation offering, everyone can, you search Paladin PTS, I think you need to search like that on Steam, I think it is, I don't remember. Or you go to Paladins and the, it, it's in there. Uh, download, you go into there, download the patch, boom, and then you can play with the new champion, Azan. You can check the new uh, season pass, event pass, uh, the mount, skins, you know, everything, and then, you know, gift feedback for developers for them to improve uh, before the patch comes out to the live version on November 10th. So, hope you guys enjoy here uh, gameplay of Azan and see you guys next time.